we'll be looking at the cross product, what we call the vector product. They mean the same thing. And we need to know that the cross product or vector product of two perpendicular vectors is not always equal to zero and can never be equal to zero. Whereas the cross product or vector product of two parallel vectors is always zero. A vector in 3D will always have three components. Vector A is equal to AXI, AY, J plus AZK. And vector B will also have BXI, BYJ plus BZK. With this, we can define the cross product of these two vectors as modulus of A, modulus of B, sine theta. Whereas, modulus of A is the magnitude of vector A, modulus of B is the magnitude of vector B, where theta is the angle between the two vectors. Notes that I cross J is equal to K. J cross K is equal to I and K cross I is equal to J. You need to know also that cross products of two vectors is not commutative. What does commutativity mean? Once you interchange the position of these two vectors, they will never give you the same result. Take for instance, if I say 3 multiplied by 5, the answer is 15. If I say 5 multiplied by 3, the answer is 15. No matter how I interchange the numbers, as far as multiplication is concerned, they will always give me the same result. That's what we call commutativity. So in cross products, two vectors, multiplication of two vectors is not commutative. So in the same way, if you say that J cross I, it will give you minus K. And if you say K cross J, it will give you minus I. And if you say I cross K, it will give you minus J. This has to do with vectors that are perpendicular to each other. But when you talk about vectors that are parallel, for example, if you say I cross I is zero. J cross J is zero and K cross K is zero. So let's look at an example on how to get the cross product of two vectors. Example. Given that vector A is equal to AXI plus AYJ plus AZK and B is BXI plus BYJ plus BZK. Find A cross B. Here we go. 
we are going to use matrix approach in this case solution A cross B will be equal to we have IJK and then we'll write down the components AX AY SX also write the components of B DX DY DZ I will multiply A is equal to for this and this we are left with AY SX B, Y, B, Z. So we simply multiply A, Y by B, Z minus S, Z by B, Y. So that is equal to A, Y, B, Z minus S, Z, B, Y. And that is I. For the second one, J, we are left with this. AX, LZ, BX, BZ. That will be plus AX multiplied by BZ minus LZ, BX is G plus. I'm moving to K. So we are left with a x a y b x b y. I so will multiply a x by b y. A x b y minus a y b x. That is k. That is how we do the cross products of two vectors. Thank you.